Hi, my name is Sean Good, and I'm an attorney at the Good Law Group. In this video, I'm going to talk about lymphedema and what you should know if you have lymphedema and you're applying for Social Security disability or supplemental security income. Generally, lymphedema is swelling due to buildup of fluid in the body. Most often this occurs in the lymph nodes, in the arms and the legs. Lymph nodes act as a sink drain for fluid in your body. If the drain is clogged, the fluid will build up and cause limitations in your ability to reach, handle, um, and lift and carry and can cause pretty severe pain. While lymphedema can be hereditary, we most often see it in the context of cancer survivors. Some individuals experience intermittent or mild lymphedema, and in these cases, it's often considered a non-disabling impairment. While it may be non-disabling on its own, when coupled with or combined with other disabilities and impairments, the limitations combined can cause an individual to have the inability to work. In more severe cases where the fluid buildup is so severe and the swelling is so severe that the range of motion, the ability to sit and stand and walk and lift are severely affected by the lymphedema, the case can be potentially one solely on the fact that an individual has very, very severe lymphedema. The Social Security's Blue Book list of impairments does not contain a lymphedema listing. However, there is still many ways that you can use evidence of restrictions resulting from lymphedema to win your Social Security disability or Supplemental Security income case. If you or a loved one needs help with their Social Security case, please feel free to reach out to us at 847-577-4476. Thanks for watching.